I'm John Voikevitz. I'm head coach of women's rowing at Santa Clara University. Uh, so this is our conference championship. This is the last race of the season for us. Um, it's the race really that we've been preparing all year for. Um, and, uh, and, and the athletes are approaching it with that, uh, with that level of, of seriousness and gravitas, I guess. Primarily for the Varsity 8, we have some specific time goals that we want to achieve. Um, notably, improving on what we've done the last couple of years. We've been, um, since I've been here, we've been in this building mode where we've been trying to nail down um, the appropriate speed for being competitive within this conference. Um, it's been a challenge because we're predominantly a, a, a walk-on team. Uh, we have a lot of novices. Um, but I think this year the team has really put down um, the volume of training that they've needed to. Um, we've been, we've had to deal with some injuries the last few months, r random stuff, uh, torn ACL on a pickup soccer game, bike accident, uh, a couple of bad backs. Um, but uh, the last few weeks, um, we've done some lineup changes, done some seat racing for, uh, for the Varsity 8. And in fact, the last three or four days, the crew has really started to gel. And, um, and uh, they've been, been putting down some, some good solid splits and uh, moving together pretty well. So I'm, I'm optimistic going into the weekend. Um, we realized that uh, you know, what we were doing in practice, we weren't able to reproduce that. And once we, uh, uh, once we pulled into our lane and, and got locked into the stake boat, so it was, we realized it was very much of a psychological issue um, and uh, how we were approaching competition. Um, you know, even in the uh, few hours before the race, but even 24, 48 hours before race weekend, how we were preparing. Um, the team sat down with a, a sports psychologist and were able to talk out a little bit of the performance apprehension that we were experiencing. Um, and I think, I, I, I think even though it's, it was a process that would happen over the short term, um, we were able to get some traction with that, and uh, I think both crews, the varsity and the JV, have a little bit more confidence that they can do, they can reproduce what they were able to do in practice and, and put that out in the course for the weekend. Um, I've seen a commitment to the training. Um, one of the things, as, again, as we've been building this team, it's been um, it, 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 understanding that the training can't be negotiated. Um, that it's, it's uh, because there's such a strong physiological element to what we do, um, there's a set volume that just simply needs to be done and, and, and the commitment needs to be made to that. And, and absolutely, um, I've seen that commitment. The volume, the distance that we've put in over the last nine months is, um, you know, we're doing easily a third to almost double, sorry, bad math, um, a third to two thirds more than what we've done uh, for the average of the last three years. Um, so that there's definitely been a, a much bigger commitment to the training um, over the last nine months. And I think as we look forward, as we look ahead, um, now that we've established how much training we need to do, um, the quality of that training and how we're approaching each training day um, in terms of trying to put out a superlative performance, not just getting through the workout or getting through the volume, but making each day count. Um, for what it is and improving that, the quality of that training that we do. Eight. Nine.